Hey, hi, I'm Sean Covell. Uh, by way of introduction, I'm a movie producer. I did this movie and 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 this movie. I think this movie and a television series and I was on The Price is Right. I lost. But uh, I want to talk to you today about a children's book series that I'm really excited about. I'm the writer of. Uh, much like that one movie. What are you going to do today, Napoleon? Whatever I feel like I want to do. God! It's called Porter the Hoarder. It's a series of 64 children's books, the first of which is Porter the Hoarder in the Ransacked Room. And we're excited to work with the United Way and local elementary schools and our financial sponsors to be able to put Porter the Hoarder in the hands of first graders across the Black Hills and Sioux Falls and across South Dakota. I'm Rebecca Swift, and I'm the creator and illustrator for Porter the Hoarder. So I'm a mother of two with one on the way. I have read every children's book under the sun. We wanted to do something different with Porter. We wanted something that was new and that would be interactive. The kids and the parents alike could both engage and have a great time together while reading it. And that's what we did. The concept of Porter the Hoarder is very, very simple. Porter is an obnoxious little girl who refuses to clean her room. Her mom explains that if she cleans her room, she gets a gold coin worth three truckloads of candy. Now the concept is a big, meaning a parent, sibling, uh, any sort of adult at home, reads with a little, meaning first, second, and third graders, and they go through the process of identifying bits of trash in Porter's room, in this case, 10 snotty handkerchiefs. And once all 10 has been found, the question comes up. Should she keep the 10 snotty handkerchiefs? No. Yeah. As you can see, as the book goes along, her reactions become more and more manic. Her pile of trash becomes smaller and smaller. They were so excited when they came back and they couldn't wait to read the next one in the series. So it's giving them a purpose to read and then they're then applying it, which is a dream come true for a teacher. Students at this age, the K through even third grade, are really moving in the transition where they care about themselves to learning how to care about other people's. So in this book, it's really easy for um, kids to see how she's feeling. Like they know when she's mad and they understand why she's mad. Half of her stuff is being taken away. And so it's a really easy way to throw that into like, how do they feel? And it's a very black and white scenario. And that's something that as a teacher is so hard to teach young students is empathy. How do other people feel and why would they feel that? It is a quick read. Um, it's an interesting read, it's fun and exciting, and it is part of a series. And so um, when the big gets the book and they start reading it to the little, they're going to notice that it doesn't take very much time, that their child's really excited about the book, and that there's more books to follow up on. And I think that's really going to help continue that habit at home, that reading pattern. The reading program is comprised of the book itself, which will be in the hands of every first grader, with an extra copy for the library and for the classroom, along with a digital version of the book that can be read in classrooms by teachers, and a copy of the parents' porter explanation thing, which explains to parents what the book is, what the tone of the book is, how to read it with the little, and focuses on getting the cell phone in this box to get rid of the distraction and get into the process of reading. It's really exciting to be a part of the Porter books from the get-go. Before they've really gone live around the country, they are so engaging. And just from feedback that we've heard from local libraries and things, kids are really loving these books. So I donated a few of the tester books we had printed to the library at Gertie Bell Rogers Elementary in Mitchell, South Dakota. Everyone was so crazy excited about it. The librarian actually pulled me aside weeks later at a book fair, and now almost at the end of the year, they are the most popular and the most checked out books in the entire library. I thought, wow, this is exciting because it does align with our early grade reading initiative. And anytime we can get books in the hands of kids, especially fun, weird, sticky books, it's a win. And so automatically saw this as an opportunity where we could maybe partner up to make a difference for kids in our community. We are honored to be working with the United Way toward the goal of helping kids in early childhood education. We are excited to be bringing out a book that has been developed with child psychologists and elementary school professionals to be something that's even greater than the book. It's a tool. As South Dakotans, the writer, the illustrator, and the graphic designer, we're uh, 
we're all pretty proud to be bringing it home. Thanks.